What's up guys? We're back in another video. If you're new to this channel, I am John XX and I make Gotopia videos like animation and other fun and interesting Gotopia contents. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll get notified when I upload the new video. So in this video, we'll be talking about the March update and I'll be giving you my insight in the item of the month and I'll be giving you some good news in Gotopia. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So let's start. As of now that I'm recording this March 4, there is still no item of the month available on the store. But they already had a sneak peek of it when they did the first Grootopia live stream on Twitch. Well, congrats to Nekore and the team for a successful event. Yes, there were some issues like stream lagging. Well, for sure they would address and improve it on the future Grootopia live streams. Prices were good since there were two diamond dragon given and some rare prices. Well, if you would want to join the future live streams, I guess they would do it once a month. So just keep updated on the Grotopia forums and Grotopia IG. This was the sneak peek shown in the live stream. Well, for my first impression, yes, it is cool, especially the face. A lot of people said it looks weird, but it's cool for me. Comment down below what do you think of this item of the month. Yes, if you would see, the item is a bit similar with the February 2021 item of the month, which is a pirate ship. Well, congrats to the Grootopia design team. For sure, they put a lot of work there. I am reading some comments on IG. There would always be mixed emotion on the item of the month. Well, I don't think they would always add those useful item of the months like Rayman, Mags, G-Scan, and other item of the month with useful mod effects. Well, I guess item of the months that are being created now are more on clothing wear and to improve appearance rather than being useful. I would give it a rate of 8 to 8 over 10 since there would be future item of the months. I'll save the 9 and 10 for the best ones. Also, we have this subscriber item, Feathered Pauldrons, chosen by Atatip and will be available from tomorrow onward so i guess it's available right now and another news is grotopia had opened the guardian applications again while waiting for the march update they are not accepting any application for a moderator application as said here that guardians are the entry point for becoming a moderator so i guess they would just promote the serving guardians for the moderator position so this is the requirement for joining the guardian application so you must be 16 years old or older, advanced account protection needs to be activated on your account, you must be active in the game, you must be at least level 60 in the game, you must be playing the game for at least 2 years, you must be ban free in the game for at least 2 years, no major offenses at any time in the game. Well, we'll end this video with the last news, Winda Basudara. I am not sure if I mentioned his name correctly since it is Indonesian. But yes, he creates and streams different contents on his YouTube channel with over 3 million subscribers. Recently, this March 2021, as of I'm recording this video, he streamed two Gotopia contents on his channel that reached more than 1.3 million and 1.1 million views on his two videos. I am not sure if Lenhua made him play this game or Lenhua is helping him since I heard Lenhua's name for a couple of times in the live stream. If you are, are Indonesian, comment down below to let me know. But yes, on the latest video, he met Mr. Songo and I guess he already met JMW7. So I guess this is a great news for Gotopia since it would engage more Indonesian players to play this game. Maybe bad for the server since let's say 1 million would play at the same time in Gotopia. Or let's say 20% of the views, 200,000, I don't think the servers would be prepared for that much of players. Well, I'm hoping for the Gotopia community to grow and I guess Ubisoft is working on the servers and for sure there would be a lot of exciting updates soon. So we'll be ending the video here. Thank you for watching guys and if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and smash the like button and I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys!